Hi everyone, it's Aunt Fernita. Today's story is called Too Many Offerings. The memory verse is from Psalm 54, verse 6. It says, I will sacrifice a free will offering to you. I will praise your name, O Lord, for it is good. Today's message is I worship God with my offerings. Enough! Enough! laughed Dad. I have enough on my plate already. Mother smiled. What about you, Josh? Do you have enough on your plate? Josh grinned. He knew what his mother was thinking. He would eat everything on his plate and ask for more. And she would tease him about eating like a horse. When is enough enough? A long time ago, Moses told the Israelites, Don't bring any more. We have more than enough. Here's how it happened. Quick, called Father breathlessly as he stuck his head inside the tent. Moses has an important announcement to make. The entire Israelite community is gathering. Mother dropped what she was doing and grabbed the baby. Leah was close on her heels followed by her younger brothers, Zibion and Gershon. The family was quickly joined by other Israelite families, all gathering to hear what Moses had to say. Soon Moses stood up to speak. The low murmur of the crowd stopped. God has given me instructions for a tent of meeting, Moses began. A special place where God will meet with us and where we will worship Him. We need a lot of fine materials. Only those who want to should contribute, continued Moses. We will need gold, silver, and bronze. We will need yarn in blue, purple, and scarlet. We need fine linen. We need animal skins, acacia wood, olive oil, spices, and gemstones. You should donate only if your heart has been moved by God. Your gifts will be an offering to Him. We will also need skilled craftsmen of every kind, spinners and weavers to help us prepare the materials. People who can work in gold, silver, and bronze. We need people who know how to cut and set stones. Carpenters to work with wood. Spinners to spin goat hair and linen. And weavers to make curtains and the special garments the priests will wear. Bezael of the tribe of Judah and Oholiab of the tribe of Dan will be in charge of the workers and their work. God's Spirit has filled them with skill and knowledge and the ability to teach others to do this special work. As soon as Moses stopped talking, a buzz of excitement spread through the crowd. Mother, Leah began excitedly, We can help in lots of ways. You're one of the best spinners and weavers in the whole camp. I'll watch the baby so you can spin. And we have a bronze mirror and comb, chimed in Zibion. Moses said they need bronze. And Leah and Mother have gold jewelry, added Gershon. We do have gold earrings and bracelets, agreed Leah. Her best friend in Egypt had given her the bracelets the night they had left. The next day, the family excitedly gathered their items. Together, they took them to the place where the building materials were being collected. Piles were beginning to form. Gold jewelry here, silver over there, bronze bowls and other utensils a little farther on. Animal skins, 
acacia wood, goat hair, and linen each had their own stack. Excitement filled the air, making it feel like a joyous holiday. Every day, Leah and Zibion and Gershon walked past the growing piles of materials. Then one day, the builders told Moses, We don't need any more materials. We have more than enough now. So Moses told the people to stop donating. The people of Israel had come through. They loved God very much. They wanted to see the tabernacle built too. This podcast is read by Franita Buddy for Gracelink.net. Created and produced by Falvo Fowler. Post produced by Faith Toe at Studio El Piso. The theme music is by Clayton Kinney. For more information, please visit gracelink.net.